In this video, we're gonna talk about reps and sets. So I'm gonna start by defining what a rep and a set is, and then I'm gonna help you understand how many reps and sets that you might actually want to include in your workout. Simply put, a rep is short for a repetition. So that is a repetition of an exercise that you're performing. For example, that you are doing a squat and you perform one squat, you would have done one rep or one repetition. If you go on to do an additional five, so you do six squats, you'll have done six reps. Now a set is a group of reps. If you went on to do six squats, you would have done one set of six reps. Now, if you had a break for a minute or two and then you went on to do another six squats, you will have now done two sets of six reps. To recap, a rep is a repetition and a set is a group of repetitions. I'm gonna go on to help you understand how many you might include in a workout. Before I do, make sure you like the video by clicking the thumbs up below and then make sure you subscribe to the Never Talk To Lift YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss out on any more videos that are coming up. Before I go on to talk about how many to do, I need us to understand a key concept called train till failure. Train till failure means that when you perform an exercise, the last repetition is pretty much the last repetition that you could have done. So for example, if you were doing six squats, we would want the sixth squat to be just about manageable. And if you actually try to do a seventh squat, you'd find that you had nothing left in the muscles. You wouldn't be able to perform it. If we reached that point, you would have got it perfectly. You would have trained till failure. And it's those last couple of repetitions where we actually build the strength. If we hit that failure point or fatigue point anywhere within 15 repetitions, you will build some strength and some muscle size. Now, if you want to maximize your time in the gym and make it more efficient, we can actually aim to reach that failure point within a specific rep range. So if your goal is strength, and by strength, I mean the muscle's ability to produce a peak force, then we actually want your failure point to be somewhere within five repetitions. So you will need a heavier weight in order for that to happen. If your goal is to build size of muscles, so we call that hypertrophy, then you'll want to reach that failure point somewhere between eight and 12 repetitions. Anything more than 15, then we're working more into the endurance phase. Now, generally as an older adult, we're probably gonna to wanna to aim for strength as the outcome of our workouts, because it's a strength that we naturally lose over time that we're trying to limit, but also reverse that and gain some of our strength back. You may well want some size in there as well, but primarily strength is gonna be the main goal. To do that, as we said, we're gonna try and aim for higher weights for fewer repetitions and we want to make sure that we get close to the failure point. If you got to five repetitions and you actually could have done another five, then you're not really going to get strength as a result. You need to start pushing towards that failure point. If you are new to lifting weights, this may well take you some time. As a bare minimum, I suggest 12 weeks to get to the point where you're reaching failure at five repetitions. You might start at 15 repetitions, then work down to 12, and then 10, and then eight, and then six, and five, and so forth. If you jump in too heavy too soon without preparing your body for it, you could cause an injury, which is exactly what we don't want. I'm often asked by people whether they should progress by increasing the number of repetitions that they do or by increasing the weight that you use. Now, if you start to increase the repetitions that you do and you start reaching failure at no longer at five repetitions, but now at 10, then you're now in a different rep range. And rather than increasing strength, primarily you're gonna to start to increase hypertrophy or size, which isn't necessarily the goal that you've started off with. Rather than increase the number of repetitions, we can increase the weight. So if you were doing five repetitions of an exercise, it started to feel a lot easier and it was no longer the last one you could manage and you could actually manage two or three more. By increasing the weight that you use, you'll bring that failure point back down to five repetitions now we're still in that strength zone and that's where we're going to get the goal that we want. Now that you know what reps and sets are and you have a better understanding of how many to include in your workout, you'll probably want to know what exercise is the most appropriate for you to start with. I suggest watching this video next as it's going to help you do so. If you have any questions about this video or have any comments, please leave them in the comments below. As a reminder, please remember to like the video if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any more videos.